The purse girl hits everything on my checklist. Creamy skin, straight teeth, curly hair, amazing breasts. Not for me, for my children. The shroots produce very thirsty babies. I'm sorry, but that's not all it takes to be a hero. Oh, great. Well, what is a hero to you? A hero kills people, people that wish him harm. Okay. A hero is part human and part supernatural. I Lots of cultures eat I rice. It doesn't help you. me. Um, shalom. I'd like to apply for a loan. That's nice, Dwight. Get it really quick. Okay, I like your food. Uh, Outback Steakhouse. I'm Australian, mate. A hero is born out of a childhood trauma or out of a disaster um, that must be avenged. Okay, um, you're thinking of a superhero. We all have a hero in our heart. Stir the pot. Stir the melting pot. Bam. Let's do it. Let's get ugly. Let's get real. Okay. If I have to do this, based on stereotypes that are totally untrue, that I do not agree with, you would maybe not be a very good driver. Oh, man, am I a woman? In the wild, there is no health care. In the wild, health care is, ow, I hurt my leg. I can't run. A lion eats me, and I'm dead. Wow. Well, I'm not dead. I'm the lion. You're dead. Wait. Uh, knock. This? Please. Please. Knock. This is an office. It says workspace. Same thing. If it's the same thing, then why don't you write workspace? Just knock. Please. Okay, a sign of a respect for your superior. You are not my superior. Oh, gee, then why do I have an office? I thought it was a workspace. Okay. Dwight. You know what, Dwight? We can't write our diseases down for you because that's confidential. Okay, well, I didn't say to write your name down, did I? Fill it out, leave it anonymous. Or don't write any disease down at all and it won't be covered. Sound fair? Good. All right, I'll be in my office. Workspace. I'm going to read aloud your submitted medical conditions. When you hear yours read, please raise your hand to indicate that it is real. If you do not raise your hand, it will not be covered. What about confidentiality? You know what? You have forfeited that privilege. I have tried to treat you all as adults, but obviously I am the only adult here. I have a couple people come in on the weekends, and I know nobody's going to want to do it, and everybody's going to complain and bitch, and I don't want to have to deal with it. And that's why you have an assistant regional manager. Yes, it is. Assistant to the regional manager. Same thing. No, it's not. It's lower. So it's close. I know, grumble, grumble, but you would follow me to the ends of the earth, grumbling all the way. Like that uh, dwarf from Lord of the Rings. Gimli. Nerd. That is why you're not on the team. Just trying to be helpful. Oh, I'll help. Uh, Elven Dragon Slayer. Uh, ten point power sword. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> Watch your back, guys. Come on. Come on. Hey, Dwight. Dwight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, Dwight. Dwight. All right, I'll talk to her. This one is hand in hand. All right, girls, bring it up. You're being infiltrated. Cock in the hen house. Cock's in the hen house. Don't say cocks. Oh. <clears throat> okay. He's not your relationship boss. That's true. Plus, you have so much more to talk to this girl about. You're both um, salesmen. I mean, that's something right there. True. Plus, I could talk to her about the origins of my last name. It's all gold. All right, here's the thing, okay? You just keep talking to her. If you hit a stall, you have a perfect fallback. What's that? You buy a purse. I don't want a purse. Purses are for girls. Dwight, that's not necessarily true. Uh, do you read GQ? No. Okay, I do. They're like mini briefcases, all right? Lots of guys have them. Like those? Yes. Uh, no. Hey, how's it going? Good. Can I talk to you for a second in private? I don't think so. I'm yeah, really just take a second. Right I can't. Just for a minute. I really Please. can't. Please. I wanted to talk to you in private because I wanted to ask you out on a date. No. 